Are you interested in building a business using Facebook ads? If you're interested, then this video is for you. So better watch it until the end kasi i-discuss natin how you can build a business using Facebook advertising. Hi, I'm Colin P. Marcelino and I am the founder of Callski.com. Over the years, I have already helped thousands of Filipinos on their online journey, whether in digital marketing or on building their website. So if you want to visit our platform, you can go to callski.com. All right, so let's start. How can you build a business using Facebook advertising? And pili lang ba ang mga business na pwedeng gumamit ng Facebook ads? And the answer is no. Facebook ads is for everybody, kahit anong klase pa ng business mo. Whether you have a brick and mortar store, whether you have an e-commerce business, kahit pa dentist ka and you want more clients, you have a restaurant, meron kang um, travel and tours business, you're a real estate agent, and so forth. So, any businesses can use the platform. So, ang tanong, how can you leverage this amazing platform to your advantage? And ano ba ang use ng Facebook advertising? Before you can leverage, kailangan mo munang maintindihan ano ang power ng platform na ito and how does it operate. Alright, what is Facebook advertising? Ang Facebook advertising simply is you are going to pay Facebook para mapakita ang advertisement mo. So, what is an advertisement? Ito yung message na gusto mong ipakita sa mga future customers mo. Alright? Sa mga possible customers. So, why do I need Facebook advertising? Eh, pwede naman akong mag-post sa groups. Pwede naman akong mag-post sa uh, page ko kasi marami akong mga likers. So, what's the difference? Unang-una, ang Facebook advertising has its own very important feature na hindi kayang tumbasan ng any other advertising platforms out there. Mas powerful pa ito sa TV, mas powerful pa sa newspaper, mas powerful kaysa sa Google Ads, and any other advertising platforms out there. This is a phenomenon, guys. This is never before uh, seen in the entire history of mankind. So ano to? What is this feature? Ang feature na to is ang Targeting, at saka ang tinatawag nating predictive action algorithm. Unang-una, i-discuss muna natin ano ang targeting. Sa Facebook ads kasi, you can reach out to people who would most likely become your customer. Unlike if nag-advertise ka sa newspaper, which is mahal, by the way, you are not sure that your the person that that is reading the newspaper, number one, Will that person reading the newspaper read your section, yung advertisement mo doon? Number two, will that person be interested sa um, message? Kasi kung sino-sino lang yung nagbabasa ng newspaper and you cannot target people who are really into your services. Compared mo sa Facebook advertising, Facebook in Facebook advertising, using the ads manager, you can target the people who would most likely be interested in your brand. Example, you are uh, selling um, pet, pet products. You can accurately target or show your ads to the people who, have, who are interested in pets. And most likely, if that person is really interested sa mga pets, then there's a high chance na meron siyang pet, and pag merong pet yung product, yung person na yon, then that person could potentially be your customer. That could be, that's your target market, di ba? If you're selling pet products. Unlike if you're advertising on TV, kung sino-sino lang nakakita dyan, di ba? So, that's the number one power of Facebook advertising. And ang pinaka-amazing pa na power with Facebook advertising is ang tinatawag nating predictive um, predictive action algorithm. From the root word predictive, Facebook, napaka-creepy na to medyo, but this is really true. Facebook can predict kung ano yung next action mo na gagawin given, if, if you are given a certain message or sa post, alright? Kung merong sa newsfeed mo, merong post na lumabas or kahit hindi sa newsfeed and any other placement. Bakit napipredict? How can Facebook predict what a user 
um, can do next or will do next? The answer is Facebook has an artificial intelligence and Facebook has a lot of data on you. Facebook knows what topic you are really interested in. So example, tingnan mo yung news feed mo ngayon. Buksan mo yung, ano mo, buksan mo yung um, cell phone mo and go to your Facebook news feed. Yung mga nakikita mo dyan, those are the posts that Facebook thinks would most likely be, that you will most likely be interested in. Alright? So, sa news feed ko, when I look at my news feed, I see a lot of um, marketing stuff because that is what I'm interested in. Alright? So, if you're interested in birds, then you, most likely you would see posts about birds dyan. So, do you, um, do you ask, bakit kaya yung mga long, long time friends ko, hindi nag appear yung mga post nila sa news feed ko even though laging nagpo-post yung long time friend ko na yon. Probably because you are not engaging with, with that friend's post. It's probably because you are not interested sa mga post ng tao na yon. Kaya hindi pinapakita ni Facebook yung mga post ng tao na yon sa newsfeed mo. Because prob Facebook knows that probably you will not engage with that post anyway. So, why not papakita yon sa, sa, ano mo, sa wall mo? So, the point is, yung nasa wall mo, those are the posts that you would most likely be interested in because that's how Facebook algorithm works. Pinapakita lang ni Facebook sa newsfeed mo kung ano yung based lang din sa mga previous actions mo, based lang din sa mga previous interests mo. And lahat ng yun, kinokollecta ni Facebook sa kanilang data and pinaprocess using the artif artificial intelligence. And based on your actions in Facebook platform, Facebook accurately knows what topics you are interested in. Okay, so example, you are into traveling, okay? Mahilig kang mag-travel and you keep posting um, traveling stuff and you keep on liking yung mga pages that is about traveling, alright? And based sa mga action mo na yun, Facebook can see that you are a person na mahilig mag-travel. And if you keep on liking, sharing, and engaging um, sa mga posts na yun who have the same messages, then Facebook can easily um, predict that when you are shown that kind of message again, most likely you will engage. Alright? So that's the simple way how um, Facebook predictive action um, algorithm works. And another thing, this is, this is amazing guys. Facebook knows if mahilig kang mag-purchase online and hindi. Why? Because meron tayong tinatawag na Facebook Pixel. What is Facebook Pixel? Facebook Pixel is simply a reporting tool. Facebook knows or Facebook receives the data that you are purchasing something online. A lot of websites out there, alright, kahit you are outside of Facebook, a lot of websites already have a pixel code on their website. And if that website has a pixel code, then Facebook can easily track your activities on that website even if wala ka nasa Facebook platform. Example, you go to an, um, a website who is selling something, an e-commerce website, all right? And then you click add to cart and then you purchase. Yung data mo na yon, that, that, that purchase data, it will be sent to Facebook and it will be connected to your profile. And what does it mean? Facebook will easily see na this person is purchasing online. Okay, check. Naka-record na. And if you keep repeating that action, okay? If you keep repeating that action on the same kind of item, on the same kind of niche. Example, pet niche. Lagi, lagi kang bumibili ng mga pet products on, on some online stores out there who have a pixel code. Then meron ng repetitive action. And Facebook can easily predict that pag merong product ulit, if there is a post related to that, product and then ipapakita yan sa newsfeed mo then or kahit saan any of Facebook platform then most likely you will be interested in that post and there is a high chance that you are going to buy kasi nga Facebook knows what you what type of product you want to purchase 
Facebook knows how much ang ginagastos mo per purchase. And Facebook knows kung anong klaseng action yung ginagawa mo inside the website na merong um, pixel code. Okay? So, just for your information, marami na ngayon. Most of the websites out there merong pixel code. Alright? Example, sa Lazada, pag mahilig kang bumili sa Lazada, then Facebook can easily tell that you are a type of person who, who, who loves to buy online. Okay? So, ngayon that I have uh, explained to you what is the, the Facebook uh, predictive action algorithm that Facebook knows what action you will do given on a certain message, then ano ang advantage nito for you if you want to build a business using Facebook ads? Very, very big advantage. Okay? So, ngayon, if I advertise a product, a certain product, okay, example, pet products, if I advertise my product to the person who would most likely, who has a history of buying pet products, then I have a higher chance na magkaroon ng sale kesa ipakita yung post ko or yung advertisement ko to the person who, who, does not, who is not really interested on that stuff. Diba? So, that is the power of uh, Facebook advertising mas malaki ang chance mo makakuha ng customer kesa, kesa mag-post ka lang sa Facebook ano mo mag-post ka lang sa Facebook profile mo sa Facebook page mo mag-post ka lang sa groups and, and anything if you do that you will not be able to utilize the power of Facebook algorithm ang Facebook artificial intelligence guys before many years ago only only powerful and yung mga mayayamang businessmen, mga entrepreneurs, ang may access sa ganitong klaseng technology. But now, Facebook is giving it to the public. For you, you have the power to access this billion-dollar technology, itong very advanced technology. All you have to do is register sa business.facebook.com and you can start using this technology na to your advantage. And now that we have discussed the power of Facebook advertising, now let's move to the next discussion, which is ang implementation. So if you are ready for the next lesson, then see you in the next video natin.